Hey everyone, I'm Vortated Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the desktop manager high CPU problems in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart File Explorer from Task Manager. To do this, right click the Windows button then select Task Manager from the list of options. Now in here make sure to locate File Explorer or Windows Explorer, right click on it and select the Restart option. Now, if your whole desktop will go blank, don't get scared. What you have to do is simply wait until the restoration process will happen. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to update or roll back the Intel graphics driver. To do this, right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the Display Adapter section and then right click on the Intel graphics driver. Now select the Properties option and lastly you have to click on the Driver tab. As you can see in here, you have plenty of options to play with, but the first one we will tackle is the Update Driver button. Now you can just click on Search automatically for drivers and wait until Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. But if this step doesn't prove useful, you can also roll back the drivers. So you can roll back to the previously installed driver and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to modify the visual effects options. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type View Advanced System Settings and then select it from the search result. Now in here, in the System Properties window, under the Advanced tab, make sure to click on the Settings button in the Performance section. You can adjust Windows 11 for the best performance by clicking on this box, or you can choose Custom and deactivate any visual effects that you don't want. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix, which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.